Well, let me welcome you to this Wednesday's reflection on the coronavirus situation. Uh, we're all going through a very surreal time just now. It's, it's a time that's got a lot of us rattled. There's a lot of fear and anxiety out there. So I want to just share uh, some encouragements with you from the Gospels, looking specifically at how Jesus deals with disease. And it's from one of my favourite stories. It's from Luke chapter 8. It's about a woman who had this horrible, debilitating, bleeding disease. Uh, now Luke tells us that she had this disease for 12 years. And because he was a doctor, he adds the additional detail that the other Gospel writers omit, which is that no doctor was able to help her in this time. Bear in mind as well, uh, in the religious culture of this time, if a woman had a bleeding disease like this, then she would be considered ceremonially unclean. That meant that she would be isolated. She wasn't allowed to go near people. Her disease isolated her. It's something that, that we, we know all too well, disease isolates. But she had this for 12 years. Now, just think about that. Think how old you were um, 12 years ago. For me, I was a, a young, fresh-faced 20-year-old uh, with a lot more hair than I have now. And imagine for all that time, from then until now, that you had a disease that was just causing you such embarrassment, such hurt, and such isolation. Every time you would see someone, they would maybe run up to hug you, and you'd have to say, no, 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 don't come near me. I'm, I'm still unclean. This woman had that disease and she spots Jesus and she sees Jesus in a crowd of people and she thinks to herself, you know, if I can just touch the hem of Jesus' cloak, I know I'll be better. And so she does, she must push her way through and, and she grabs Jesus' cloak and Jesus senses that something has happened and he calls the woman out from the crowd and we're told that, that she comes to him and, and she's terrified, she's, she's filled with trembling. But Jesus speaks to her, and I love what Jesus says in, in Luke 8, verse 48. He says, daughter. I love that. I, I wonder if anyone had ever spoken such tender words to her in the 12 years of this illness. Daughter, your faith has saved you. Notice it wasn't Jesus' cloak. It was her faith that saved her. Your faith has saved you. Now go in peace. It's a very moving story. But why does Luke tell us this? Is he saying, you know, if, if we just have enough faith as Christians, then we can be healed from any disease? I don't think that's what he's saying. And we know that's not true. Um, that's not what Jesus teaches, nor is it in line with what the rest of the Bible says. We will get sick. People we know will get sick. God can heal us, but he won't always. And eventually we will die. Jesus' primary mission in the Gospels was, was not to heal sickness. His primary mission is actually something that he talks about a lot in Luke. And um, he says in Luke 19 that his primary mission was to come and to seek and save lost sinners. And that's far more impressive than being healed from a disease. To be made right with the God of the universe is way more impressive than being healed from a disease. But let's not miss what Jesus does here and just the magnitude and the power of Jesus. Why is Luke telling us this then? Well, I think he's telling us this for two reasons. Firstly, as proof and secondly, as a preview. So firstly, this is proof. This is proof that Jesus has all authority. In Luke 8, we see that, that Jesus speaks and the storms are calm. He speaks and demons are driven. He speaks and disease is cured and even death is overcome. In other words, Jesus has the authority to end everything that troubles us. Disease and death do not phase God's king. We have no power over them, but he does. It reminds me of a, a quote in the Lord of the Rings books, which says, the hands of a healer are the hands of a king and thus the true king shall be known this is God's king the one who has all the authority of heaven and earth he does what we cannot do and if we follow him we can know that there will come a time where we will be with him and there will be no more sickness and no more death because the second thing this shows us is the preview of Jesus kingdom imagine a world where the news is never bad 
That's great. Wouldn't that be great? There's news is never bad. Well, Luke 8 presents us with a sneak peek, with a preview of that world. This is Jesus' kingdom. And one day when we are with him, there will be no more disease that cause embarrassment. No medical machines or doctors, no coughing and allergies, no disabilities or, or mental illness, no depression or anxiety or loneliness. There will be no more death. Every tear will be wiped away because our king has defeated all sin and evil and he has authority over all disease and death. It will be no more. So we don't know why this is happening, but here's what you can know if you follow Jesus. He is the king, he is in charge, and he will get the last word in your life. Do not be afraid, just believe. Go in peace.